Jonathan Owens, he got time off. NFL player, by the way, if you guys don't know. DB. This is awesome. The Bears are giving DB Jonathan Owens time off from training camp to go watch and support his wife, Simone Biles, one of the greatest athletes in modern history of all time, multiple time gold medalist, perform at the Olympics in Paris. Now, listen, man, kind of indifferent on this. I think, you know, it's camp, Thank right? You, Thank you, Bailey. This is training camp, right? You keep saying this. This, this camp, is training man. camp. So training camp, this you is what this, this is when the nitty gritty gets when going. Get better? Jonathan Owens when should be at team? training camp. I will agree. When training camp. Training camp is the real can deal. You answer time. That though, that training camp. Can you can you answer that question? Though? When did you and your all the teams you played on in your life? When did you guys bond to get better? As a team, when did you become a cohesive unit? Talk to you. No, you dad. No, you, come on, stop, Smitty. Stop making shit up for your narrative. You didn't get no, better throughout either. the year. You didn't team bond throughout the year while you're playing, get ready to play fucking Eastern Illinois. No, I'm, I'm saying no, no, no. I'm saying I'm, I'm sorry. I mean like off season, though. When? Seriously, okay, like off season. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. Okay, off-season. that's what I meant. Champions are built in the off season. Yes, sir. So you keep defending this thing about. It's don't off season, don't compare at all. Don't compare no, to Aaron Rodgers to it. It's off season, y'all. Aaron Rodgers didn't need to show up to mandatory minicamp. He was there in non mandatory. It's off season, y'all. <laughs> you keep saying this, homie. You wonder this why is we different. have a shitty. Product. This is training camp. This is different. This is not the same thing as Aaron Rodgers. This is the nitty gritty. We got pads on. We in it. Minicamp. That is bullshit. Minicamp is bullshit. This is the real deal. But listen, man. Am I supposed to what would you want from me, JB? You want me to go here? Jonathan no, Owens, you're no, no, a give, soft. Give, give, give us your take. You're no, no, weak. No, 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 yeah, no, no, this no, is no, bullshit. No, no. This That's is what right. the yeah. is about. All right. I, I expected you to be different than my take. I'm just saying, I want to know. Get your honest take. First of all, I don't like the Biles girl. She talked. She's what you mean? You don't like Simone? She was, see, I'm talking about off the thing. I don't like I don't know what she does. I don't watch her. I don't watch the sport. I don't you know. You don't know what she does. No. Nah. Gymnastics, right? Okay, so yeah. you do know. So stop lying. Yeah, yeah, you be lying on this show. No, I'm not lying. I'm just saying I don't. I never saw her. My real opinion, I think Jada Owens what should she do tumble. Jada Owens should be. She do a lot of the uh, gymnastics events. She's like the greatest of all time. Yeah, yeah. no bullshit. But she said some dumb ass shit in Houston, and she did a parade that. I was like, oh, I'm done with her. So go ahead, JB. Hold on. Before we move on, we come on this show. And we always preach that it's okay to have different opinions yeah, and yeah. different beliefs, yeah, yeah. and we can still yeah. respect each other and move on. Yeah. But you, again, that's why I call you a walking contradiction because yeah. you say that when people agree to you. As soon as someone has a different opinion about a political stance or LGBTQ or whatever the case may be, if they're on the opposition, you all oh, fuck them. I don't care about them. They're stupid. They're dumb. And it's like, you don't even know this woman at all. So you haven't no, had a chance to meet her, shake her hand, none of that. Court thing. I said off her. Platform. So it's one thing that she said that, that right, it's one thing she said that you I don't like watch her. And, and now and now and now like you offer. Yeah, because not my sport. So not so now I can't bring her on the show as a guest now. You can. No, but I can't now because you're my co-host. But you can have her on with you. Um yeah, on my separate shit. But I'm saying on this show, I'm talking on the Coach JB show of Big Smitty. On the Coach JB if show. I if I got connected, I said, Hey Simone, how you yeah, doing? He he was fan. I want to get you on a Coach JB show. Oh, Coach JB, that white guy who was talking shit about me. Oh, no, thank you. It's a wrap. So I'm saying you, you, you don't even know this woman yet. No, she might be her. a great woman though, but JB. I don't know her. You missing See, the point. You missing the point, oh, JB. You are missing the point. <laughs> You're missing the point. Anyway, I don't mind Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan Owens should be at camp. You got me all fucked I up now. Jonathan her. Owens should be at camp. But I understand him wanting to support his wife at the Olympics. It happens once once every four every her four on this years. Show to talk about though. Seriously. Her be, being the greatest of all time. Of what? In a sport. Period. That's the conversation. The preparation it takes, the discipline it takes to become the greatest of all time in anything. If, if we become the greatest uh, podcast of all time, we become the greatest fucking whatever of all time, I want to know how because it's a different mindset to become the GOAT. I want to talk to Brady. I want to talk to Jordan. I want to talk to Serena. I want to talk to Simone. I want to talk to Michael Phelps. When you're the greatest at what you do, there's a different type of mindset, I think, that you have compared to the rest of us everyday folks. It is. I tell you, Gino Ariyama is my favorite coach. Come on now. Let's bring up. Exactly. So that's what I would want to talk it's to her about. Though. But I'm saying, yeah. The greatest. I, Belichick. No, I hear your take. Yeah. I'm just saying, I have no interest in her myself. You know what I mean? Give me your take on I Jonathan Owens. Give me your take on Jonathan Owens. She's married, so you wouldn't hit anyway. She wouldn't want you anyway. You're a white man. So, so married people don't cheat. You're, you're a white man. She like brothers. Bigger than yours. 
Uh, What's your take on John's owners before our next segment, JB? Uh, I would have said no. I can't come, sweetie. It's football season now. It's time to go. You have your season. I got mine. It coincides. You know, I got to get my thing because I want to be the best player. So you you can call your husband the best DB. So I got to mm-hmm. go get mine. And I got to be there for my brothers. You know, I see you at home tonight or whenever you get back from wherever, Beijing or whatever. I get it. But no, I can't leave my brothers right now. But today in the Jersey Swap era, it's expected, homie. And it's almost like beating a dead horse. So. It is what it is. Let's move on. We agree. He should be at Kim. Like, if you listen to all yeah. my actual take, he's, he should be at Kim. It is, yeah. There's not a lot of meat to the bones on this topic, so I just don't really know yeah, where, where I, else to really exactly, go. Yeah, it just ain't really I, too I, much. Exactly. Of... That's why we wouldn't have her on the show. 